In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do some CSS changes to your WordPress website. CSS is what gives your site its look and feel. Uh, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. I think it does anyway, uh, but you don't need to know that. So if there's an element on your site that you wanna change, maybe it's a font size, um, some margin, a bit of color, and there isn't an option to do that in the theme options, you can override that with some custom CSS. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well, thanks for watching. So yeah, in this video I'm gonna be working on Boot Boutique, which is a website I set up quite a while back now. It's an Amazon affiliate website, it's running the Kingdom theme. And I'm gonna change a few colors on there just to kind of demonstrate how custom CSS works. Now, you don't have to be running the Kingdom theme. This should work with pretty much any WordPress theme that has an additional CSS bit in the settings or a custom CSS bit uh, within the theme options, uh, which most themes do. I, I don't think I've found a theme that doesn't actually have that. So uh, you should be fine regardless of uh, whether you're running Kingdom or, or something else. Excuse me, I've got something in my eye. I'll cut this out, <laughs> or maybe I won't. Anyway, uh, that's enough of, of my face, I think. Let's, um, let's get on the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is a website that I created in a previous tutorial. If you've not seen that video, then I'll put a card up on the screen now. Um, be sure to check that out. Um, in it, I take you through building this website from start to finish. Uh, it's pretty long, so you're gonna need a bit of time to watch it, but well worth it if you, if you have got the time. But anyway, so what we're gonna do today is some CSS stuff. I'm using Google Chrome um, as my browser here. So if you want to follow what I'm doing exactly, then I suggest you install Google Chrome onto your computer as well if you're not already using it. So the things I want to change, I'm just going to change a couple of colors. I think that will um, be the best way to, to demonstrate what, what, we're, what we're doing here. Obviously, you can change other attributes. Could be size, could be font type, could be font size. There's a whole host of CSS attributes that you can add and or change. Uh, just do a Google on CSS attributes and I'm sure you'll find um, some good information. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna change the background color on this search box to a lovely gray, a lovely light gray, just for the heck of it. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna to go to inspect. By the way, I've logged into the website right now. Uh, you will need to be logged in. Um, and then I, it brings up this panel down here and then I'm gonna click on this little uh, arrow in a square type thing, make sure that it goes blue. Then I'm able to kind of go around the site and on this page and you know point at the various different elements. So this is what I want to change, this input search thing. So I'm just going to click that. And it's highlighted the bit of code that does that. Now if I press the little plus over here, I can add a new style rule, which is what I'm going to be doing. Alternatively, I could come down here and, and, and change that, but it's often easier just to do it this way. So uh, I'm then going to just press the tab key on my computer. It puts an extra little line here. And I so say the attribute that I want is background color. So I'm going to start typing background. And then it gives me some of the CSS attributes available. There's background color, the one I want. Then I'm just going to press tab again to move past the colon, but before the semicolon. And you can type in like the word if you like. So you can say black, uh, which is fine, or blue. Wow, that's a good blue, isn't it? Wow. Or you can enter a hex color code. So you add a little hash and then F5, is that the one I want? F5, F5. Oh, that's a nice gray, isn't it? What was I thinking of F3, F3? I can't remember. I, I'm very bad at remembering color codes. Ooh, I like that one too. Let's go with that. So once we've made that change, um, at this point it's not permanent. We're just kind of playing around um, on the live, um, live screen, but if we were to refresh the page right now, we would lose all these changes. So we need to make them a, a little bit more permanent. And to do that, I'm gonna copy all of this to my clipboard. So I'm just gonna do Command C on my Mac, but if you're on a PC, it would be Control C on the keyboard. Of course, you can right click and select Copy. And then I'm gonna go into, uh, actually before I do that, let me just close this and I will just refresh just to show that it will disappear. It has. But don't worry, we've still got it in our clipboard. So let's go to customize. Yep, 
Now I'm using the kingdom theme, um, but as I think I've already said, I don't know, I haven't recorded the introduction yet. Uh, this does apply to any theme really. Most themes, when you go into the customize area, you will find this section here, additional CSS. Now we've already got some in here. I think I add some during the tutorial when I make this site. But let's add our new bit. So I'm just gonna add it at the top, so I know where it is. I'm just gonna make a bit of room and then paste. I'm gonna take out that extra space. So there it is, that's that bit. And you can see that over here, it's already changed. If we click Save and Publish, and then we can just close this. Let's see, we're all good. We've got a lovely gray search box, isn't that nice? Works well. So that's, that's that, let me just show you one more example. Um, so say for example, we wanted to change the, um, the color of these headings. I don't know, change it to this lovely purple color that we've got going on in, on this site. So to do that, I'm just gonna work out what color this is. So I'm just gonna highlight that and I can see that it's this one here. 941293. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard because I'm very lazy and I'm very bad at remembering things as well. Um, and I'm going to go down here, click on the little square arrow thingy again, select my H1s, which is that. And I'm going to add a little plus. Now this is going to apply to all the H1s on the site, so you do have to be a little bit careful that you're not going to mess stuff up um, and change something you don't want to change, but I think that'll be fine. Let's give it a go. And then I'm going to type the word color. And it's again, it's suggesting in this color, the American spelling. Of course, there should be a U in that word, but well, we'll let it go this time. And I'm just gonna paste in that color code, like that. And nothing's happened. Now, there's probably a good reason for that. That is because these colors are set within the theme options. I'm thinking that might be, probably the best place to do this. So maybe this is a bad example. Let me just probably override it by adding an important. Yeah, I can. So I just for this example, I'll add the important. So if you're making a change on your theme and it doesn't change for whatever reason, you can always add that important thing, whatever it is, and it, and it um, kind of overrides it. So it's a little exclamation mark, then the word important after you know whatever you're doing. So let's go with that. Let me just copy and paste this. But as I said, you're probably if you can change it in the theme options, you know, stuff like that, then it's probably better to do that rather than with custom CSS. And there is a color section here. Not not many options to be fair within here. And uh, this this is Kingdom. Is it any colors in here? No. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, so let's just paste that in. I'll paste it underneath my other one. Yeah, that's working. Save and publish. And then I think we're all done. Let's close that. So there we go. Obviously, if you want to do anything a little bit more advanced, um, then just drop me a question in the comments below this video and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, CSS is obviously quite a big subject to learn and there's lots of attributes, but you know, once you've mastered this little thing with the inspector and then copying and pasting, you can generally figure out most things. So that's it, that's custom CSS. Hopefully you got your head around that and you're now able to make some adjustments to your site that you might not have been able to make before. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope the pitch quality has improved. I noticed on the last couple of videos that I did, I was looking kind of pinky purpley and I've got all my settings wrong on my camera. Uh, and I've been messing around with them all morning, so I'm hoping the pitch quality is a bit better, but um, maybe it's not. Let me know, let me know what it looks like on your screen. Obviously on everyone's screens, it looks different. If you're not already subscribed, I would love you to become a member of the WordPress Eagle family. To do that, just click on the little eagle up there. And if you click on the little bell, then you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Uh, talking of videos, here is another video from the channel. It's been chosen specifically for you. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, do check out my other channel, which is up there. It's a kind of a vlog channel about all sorts of stuff. Until next time, bye for now.